Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Oh no no <laughs> no 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 no! Oh boy, I think that's pretty much going to be the start of, of any of these videos when I do things like this because um, it's just such a cluster, but here we are. Uh, the best thing about progressives, folks, is they'll eat, in, they'll eat each other. They'll eat themselves up. They'll turn on each other and they'll eat themselves up and that's exactly what has happened here. Um, the Guardian has actually taken uh, to having a stab at Doctor Who. Too woke? Punchline, it's not woke enough. No! Doctor Who is more offensive than ever. Oh my goodness me! What could <laughs> they possibly have a problem with with Doctor Who? One of the most progressive PC shows out there. Oh, let's find out in this next episode of The World's Crazy. Since returning with a female doctor, the sci-fi smash has been accused of political correctness. But as recent storylines prove, the truth is far worse. No. No. Doctor Who returned last week with another first. Another first! Get your bingo cards out, folks. <laughs> tick a box. Get ready to tick a box. Have you got bingo yet? You could win a prize. Your prize is to say the wrong thing on Twitter and get dogpiled. Another first. Sasha Darwin's casting as the first Indian male. Can I... Let's just put who they are instead of these stupid terms. To play the Doctor's arch nemesis, the master. The decision was broadly met with praise. Yeah, he was he was pretty good. Um, not, you know, I think uh, Michelle Gomez is uh, Missy. I think that's going to be really hard to top. Uh, she was outstanding as the mistress, Missy. Um, but he did a good effort. He did a good effort for his first outing as, as the master. He showed a good kind of manacle calmness at times, but when his plans started to realise and take effect, he kind of got a little bit manic. I liked it. I liked it. And a good kind of little crazy look there. Uh, so, yeah, I was actually... This is one of the few things which I quite enjoyed about uh, Spy Fall because there wasn't too much more after that. <laughs> ah! But in darker corners of the internet... The argument that the show has become too politically correct rages on. No, uh, no, it doesn't rage on in dark corners of the internet. It's discussed openly and like adults here, like on channels like mine and other channels out there as well that want to discuss this, where people who watch the video have a chance in the comments section to give their own opinion. They can either agree uh, and say why, uh, affirm certain things they can disagree and give their opinion as to, to why they disagree uh, but it's discussed in an open and adult rational manner not some pathetic little attempt to squirrel away because it doesn't conform because you don't want to hear it because the other thing with progressives of course people is if you don't agree with them you're wrong when the irony of the matter is, they're the bad guys. <laughs> they're the bad guys. Not us, not the people who uh, openly discuss these things, want to challenge things. No, not us, them. They're the bad guys. 2PC has become a familiar jibe leveled at the sci-fi hit since 2018 when Jodie Whittaker became the 13th, and unlucky for some, doctor and new showrunner <laughs> Cuck Chibnall took up the mantle. As well as the first woman to play the title role, their first series featured... Look at, look at the way that he talks. Features two BAME companions. Why didn't I've got a I've got an idea. You're right for the Guardian. Who are you? Jack. Jack, you're right for the Guardian. Why don't you uh, why don't you just treat them like people? 
Why don't you just treat them like people? This, all these stupid, stupid boxes you got to put people in. And episodes about Rosa Parks and the partition of India. Written by Doctor Who's first ever, and a back, back to again, BAME writers. Right, first of all, uh, anybody can be a bad writer. Whether they're white, black, male, female, gay, straight, uh, furry, uh, Indian, yellow, magenta, burnt sienna. Anyone can be bad. Just because they are BAME doesn't mean they're going to be any good. Also... When you do storylines about Rosa Parks and the partition of India in a sci-fi show about a person who time travels in a police box to any planet in any time and space. It doesn't work. Because what you should do in your sci-fi show is take these themes... And put them into another situation. The Doctor goes to another planet, meets another race of people, and indoctrinate it into that. And then it can still be entertaining, different, visually compelling for people. While at the same time being subtle and not lectury. That's why. That's why. You see, when you just do it as obviously and blatantly as this, do you know what it says? It says, you've got no imagination. You've got no creativity. And it also says, we want to be very specific and therefore lectury, politically correct. I think we get the point. The show quickly found itself embroiled in a culture war with talk of its apparent political correctness becoming commonplace, which it did. See the Twitter hashtag, not my doctor. Ah, Zemagagava. Whittaker and Chibs were forced to defend the show against these claims before the series began. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. They wanted to discuss them because that's all you people want to discuss. When they should have just gone out there and gone, Ah, oh, boom! New series coming. Series 12 is going to be awesome. We got spies. We got Cybermen coming. We got beautiful new planets. We got really cool, interesting story coming through. We got this, we got that. No, let's just sit down and talk about Orange Man Bad! Hmm. Oh, oh, here we go. Now, though, a different group of fans are railing against Doctor Who. Really, really. Mm. Far from being too liberal, many believe this iteration has actually lost the morality that made the character so unique and become boom. Boom! Um, um, um! On social issues, engaging with them to an often offensive degree. Darwin's debut, for example, was soured. Soured, it says. Soured! By a scene in which the Doctor weaponized his race against him. No, she didn't. His race is Time Lord. His race is Time Lord. She weaponized the regeneration against him. Okay? And it was one of actually the few clever things in episode two, part two of Spyfall, um, which was a, a dreadful show, admittedly. And I actually discussed this in my last Doctor Who video, but I edited it out. And I edited it out because I thought to myself, this is just going to cause more issues with people going... Eh. But sod it, since we're here, let's discuss it. It was actually very, it's actually quite clever. Because, uh, as we know, the new Doctor is an Indian, uh, British Indian, Indian, whichever way. Um, but is of Indian descent. And he was playing a, a Nazi officer. Okay, <laughs> which is, um, you know, not conducive to World War II and the values of a certain A.H. Uh, and so she says, how do you get away with it? You know, you don't quite fit the profile. And he says, perception filter, which makes sense. It's commonplace in Doctor Who. The TARDIS has a perception filter around it. TARDIS keys have perception filters around them. And what that does is if this webcam was suddenly fitted with a perception filter, my attention would suddenly be pushed to one side. So the webcam becomes 
just something in the corner of my eye doesn't become something that will grab my attention for me to 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 look at it's clever and so he he says that and then she disables the perception filter around him after calling some german soldiers and they can see him in his current regenerative form and that's how they got him it actually is logical but no weaponized is raised against him oh Oh no, heaven forbid if some a little bit of clever writing for once actually got uh got actually picked up. Oh boy, here we go. Uh it's not the first time the writing of ethnic minority characters has seemed questionable. Uh Lenny Henry's mother and somebody else, played by Blanche Williams, were both fridged almost immediately. Right, let me talk about fridged folks. Hold on, I just gotta see if I've got any any steps in. No, I've done my steps for the hour. Awesome. Uh, fridged is a comic book phrase. Uh, I was actually collecting the, the Green Lantern comics at the time. In the early 90s, DC wanted to revamp its heroes, do something with them, really shake uh, the status quo. So they killed Superman, and they had the reign of Superman. They broke Batman's back, replaced him with Asbat. They uh, replaced Wonder Woman with Artemis. And with Green Lantern and Hal Jordan, they turned him bad. They turned him into Parallax. And so there was a position free for a Green Lantern, and they created the character of uh, Kyle Rayner. And he took over from episode... Well, technically from episode 50. He's in the, the last panel, I believe, of episode 50. But from episode 51. And uh, Alex... Uh, sorry, Kyle Rayner had a girlfriend called Alex, I believe. And she's only in it pretty briefly, just a few a few issues before a, a, a chap called Major Force um, is trying to to hunt him down and kill him. I think it's episode fifty four, issue fifty four. I could be wrong. I've got it in one of these boxes somewhere. And he's out at the time, and Alex opens the door and he kills her, and he shoves her body in the fridge, and it's called fridging. Why? Because the, she was killed to give Kyle motivation to be the Green Lantern, to be the person he was. And so they felt as if it was, you know, she was used in a, in a poor way simply to give the character meaning. Whatever. You know, like I said, you can always find victimhood when you try. It's quite good. Um, they also go on... Um, uh, they also go on to... Uh, to, to rail about LGBTQ plus treatment. Uh, Doctor Who has a strong history of representation since its return in 2005. Uh, and then it goes on to say about a security guard uh, was promptly killed off in the 2019 New Year special uh, after he mentioned his boyfriend uh, before a Dalek kills him just seconds later. Well, this is the problem, folks, when you virtue signal. There was we didn't need to know that about the security guard. It was completely irrelevant. The security guard was written in to be killed by the Dalek. That was it. But they have to virtue signal. Aren't we so progressive? Aren't we so progressive? This security guard is LGBTQ plus, but its actual purpose was to get killed by the Dalek. And so the Guardian comes swooping in with its ultra progressiveness. How dare you treat the character, the LGBTQ character, like that? It's you that's the problem, Doctor. They'll eat themselves, folks. They'll eat themselves. And they deserve to. After all, as I mentioned, they're the bad guys. Uh, so there we go. <laughs> Doctor Who is not woke enough, apparently. Uh, hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do get a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming links. They're in the description box down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.